Guys, the Apple Watch Series 9 is here with some wicked new features, and I got a bunch of tips and tricks to show you guys, so strap in and let's get into it. Run it up. So for the very first trick, you're going to want to head into settings, then scroll down into contact settings, because here you'll see this brand new name drop feature. And what this does is once you bring your Apple Watch close to an iPhone, it'll automatically initiate name drop and ask you to share your contact details with the other person. This is just such a cool feature and all happens within a couple of seconds. But if this doesn't work for you straight away, you can just head into the contacts application and on the top right is your contact card. Once in there, you can just click the share button and then again, the other person just just needs to bring their iPhone close to your watch like this and the bam you have each other's contact details. This even works from Apple Watch to Apple Watch. Just click the share button, give it a couple of seconds and you have officially name dropped. I did notice this isn't out everywhere just yet but don't worry it will be out super soon. In the meantime check this out. Now, this next feature you guys have just got to turn on because it is so cool. It's found within settings under gestures and it is called double tap. Turn this on because now, check this out, if someone ever calls you, just double tap with your index finger and automatically your watch will answer the call. Or if you ever want to turn off an alarm, just double tap and it'll automatically do it for you without having to touch your watch. This gesture works with just about anything because you can even use it to help you take pics. Once you've opened up the camera remote app, as you now know, just do that double tap gesture with your fingers, it'll start a countdown timer and take your pick. Or you can also do a double tap to open your widget stacks, then double tap again to scroll through them and see things like your heart rate, weather, and exercise metrics. But another really handy gesture you'll find back inside those settings is cover to mute. Now, when someone calls you or an alarm goes off, all you have to do is put your hand on top of your Apple Watch to mute it, just like that. Pretty nifty. But something else that is super nifty is that your Apple Watch can actually track your phone. Okay, so if you ever lose your iPhone, you don't need to worry because now, if you press the side button on your Apple Watch, it'll open Control Center. And if you tap this little phone icon, it'll actually open up Precision Finding and direct you right to your iPhone using this cool graphic, which turns green as soon as you get really close. On top of that, your phone also rings while you're trying to find it. This can come in really handy if you ever lose your phone out in public or just misplace it at home. And this actually also works kind of the other way around. So if you head into to settings under control center right over here you'll see ping my watch add that to your control center because now anytime you misplace your watch you can just scroll down hit this icon and then your apple watch will play a sound making it so much easier for you to listen to and find but besides tracking your apple watch or iphone if you go into messages and scroll right to the bottom of a message over here you'll actually be able to share your location with your friends or family so that they can find you or if they share their location with you you inside their Apple Watch, you'll be able to track their location inside Apple Maps. Also, make sure you stay till the end for my top three Apple Watch tips. But for now, Siri, what's new with you? Let me show you. Now, Siri has had a massive update because you can now actually use her offline, which is super convenient because now if you're out and about without your iPhone, you can still ask her just about anything like quickly start a run workout for me. Or the best thing you can do with her is ask her about all your health stats, like what's your heart rate, how many steps you've already done, how much sleep you got last night, and even your blood oxygen levels. And as far as I know, this is the only assistant that can work without Wi-Fi straight out the box. So, brownie points to Apple. Nice. And if you head into your settings, then into Siri settings, in here, I definitely suggest you turn on raise to speak. So now all you have to do is raise your wrist to speak and ask something like, what's my next trick? Let's go. Okay, now this is actually something I have never seen in another smartwatch. Within settings, if you scroll down to privacy and security, then in here go to health, you'll see this option called time in daylight. Make sure to turn this on because now inside your health app on your iPhone, if you head into mental well-being, right over here, you can see exactly how much time you've actually spent in daylight. How this works is your Apple Watch basically has a few sensors on it to measure how much time you've been exposed to sunlight. And this is actually really important because getting enough sun does actually affect your overall 
overall mood. And another really interesting health setting that you can turn on in those same settings is wrist temperature. And what this will actually do is during the night while you're busy sleeping, your Apple Watch will actually measure your wrist temperature. Cause believe it or not, you do actually get better sleep at a lower body temperature. And to actually see your night temperature within the health app under sleep, you can tap on more sleep data. Then comparisons right at the bottom is wrist temperature. Here you'll be able to see a couple detailed graphs of what your temperature has been over the last couple of weeks. And it's just so interesting. So the Apple Watch Series 9 actually comes with a few new navigation tricks you can do. Like this one, where if you're in an app like Spotify, for example, if you tap and hold down on the top of the screen, then swipe down, it'll open up the notification panel where you can see all your notifications. This can actually be super handy for when you're busy with a workout, for example, and just quickly want to check your notifications. And by now you guys might know about these smart stacks, which are kind of like little widgets on your watch. But if you tap and hold to edit them, you can't actually rearrange the order of them, which is is kind of annoying unless you actually pin each widget. So once you've pinned all your widgets, only then will you be able to tap and hold down and reorder them to however it is you like. This can save you a bit of time because instead of scrolling all the way down to the bottom, you can just instead do a quick scroll and find your favorite widgets right at the top. But if you're wondering how you can save your watch battery, then check this out. Now, let me show you a few tricks to get your battery to last as long as possible. And the first thing you can do within general settings is called background app refresh. Make sure to turn this off. And what this will do is actually stop certain applications from running in the background, because believe it or not, that can actually drain the battery quite a lot. Another way you can save the battery is by going into your sound and haptic settings, then scrolling down and turning off haptic alerts, crown haptics, and even system haptics. Basically, what this will do is turn off all of vibrations that happen when you scroll the crown, for example, which can actually save quite a bit of battery. Then you can also head into your battery settings and into battery health and make sure that optimized charging limit is turned on. So this won't actually make your battery last longer, but instead save your battery health so that you can get a few extra years on it before needing to replace the battery. And what you can also do within the control center is tap on the battery percentage and turn on low power mode, which will extend your battery and definitely give you a few more extra hours. Okay, so onto a few Apple Watch apps that I totally suggest you guys check out. Starting with my favorite one, it's called AI Chat, and it basically connects your Apple Watch with ChatGPT. Once you open it up, all you do is tap on this Ask Any Question button and into the microphone, just say what you'd like to know, like, can you daydream at night? Then hit that send button, and in just a couple of seconds, it'll give you an answer. I mean, it just blows my mind that you can get AI like this on your wrist. Another really nifty app you can find on the App store is this one called Bring, which you can also actually download on your iPhone. And with this application, you can quick and easily create different shopping lists that then instantly get shared to your Apple Watch. So while you're out shopping, you can just quickly take a look at your wrist and see exactly what it is you need to buy. Like for example, all your appetizer ingredients. So did you know that your Apple Watch actually has three extra hidden ways you can tell the time? One of the first ways is if you go into settings and under clock settings, here you will find this option that says speak time. Toggle this on because now, whenever you tap your Apple Watch with two fingers, 6.06, it'll tell you the time. Then for the second way you can tell time, back inside your clock settings, if you scroll down and select taptic time, then turn this on. And now with your two fingers, you can just tap and hold on the watch face and it will reveal the hours and the minutes. I mean, that's pretty cool. And for the third way, back inside clock settings, you'll see this option called chimes. Once you turn it on, it will actually play a chime sound like this as soon as the hour has passed. So cool. Onto my top three quick tips, and I've got to show you guys this crazy cool new trick that you can find inside your accessibility settings. Just scroll all the way to the bottom and over here you'll see it called live speech. Once you turn this on, what you can then do is tap the crown button three times and it'll open this live speech window where you can then type in whatever it is you'd like and your Apple Watch will actually speak it for you. Hi. My name is Hales. This can actually be so useful. And just below that is this option called favorite phrases. 
In here, you can actually save a bunch of different phrases, like I'm sick and lost my voice. And then in future, you can just triple click the crown, tap that phrase, and it'll say it for you. I'm sick and lost my voice. The watch line now also comes with a super bright display. So within the control center, if you swipe down, you'll see this flashlight icon, which obviously you can use as a flashlight, but you can also adjust how bright you want the flashlight by just turning the crown. There's also an SOS flashlight and even a red light for during the night. And another cool new trick you can do is actually with FaceTime. Now whenever someone leaves you a FaceTime video message, you can play it straight on your Apple Watch inside the notification panel. Honestly, the Series 9 is filled with so many cool features that I couldn't even fit everything into this video. So make sure you check out these videos if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles! Run it up.